so this is the meddler. You have caused us far too much trouble for a mere Jedi. I will add your head to those of the other Jedi I have killed, and take yet another lightsaber for my own. Now you will know why the Mandalorians are feared. This is the tragic tale of Sharuk, the lightsaber wielding Mandalorian raider, and why the Jedi feared to face him. Stories of Mandalorian raiders terrorizing locals had made their way to the Jedi Enclave on Dantooine. In the courtyard of the Enclave, a man named John frantically searches for aid from the Jedi for that very reason. Approaching him, he says, Are you a Jedi? How long can you people continue to sit by and claim you protect us? Protectors? Ha! You sit in your Enclave safe from the Mandalorians while we suffer. Stunned by his accusations, you can, as a new Jedi, defensively default in what you think Bastila would say to this outburst. We are Jedi. What we decide is always right. Is that an impersonation of Bastila? If it is, it's a good one. Wow, talk about an ego trip. You Jedi aren't perfect. Remember Revan and Malak? Maybe these Mandalorians are worth looking into. You Jedi have left them alone because they haven't harmed you. But they steal our property, destroy our land, and worse. I say we look for these Mandalorians. I fought them in the war. They're nothing but vicious pirates. We should, we should stop them if we can. Those Mandalorian brutes have killed my daughter. You should have protected her better. And you call yourself her father. And what am I supposed to do against a dozen Mandalorians and Duros? Nothing. There was nothing I could do. They came to our land demanding our livelihood. But Ilsa, my Ilsa said no. They killed her and you didn't try to stop them? Well, only an idiot says no when they have a gun in their face, to be honest. She was always impulsive. <laughs> there was nothing I could do. Too many of the Mandalorians and their Duro's allies. I've come here to ask you, please, Master Jedi, stop these raiders and get revenge for my daughter. Now we can be forthcoming and say, look, uh, I'm not a Jedi yet. But you have been accepted into the Order. Yours is the authority of the Jedi. If you don't want to get involved, you can say, revenge is never a good reason, and your problems are not my concern. Please, I beg of you, find the Mandalorian raiders and destroy them so my daughter can rest in peace. If otherwise moved by John's plight, you have several options to get involved. If you just say you'll protect him and his fellow settlers, that will start the quest. But to garner dark side points, you can ask him if there is a reward or more forcefully say, those animals, I'll kill them for what they did to your daughter. I will give you all I have. Just please annihilate them from the face of this planet. In which case you garner dark side points and share John's sentiment. Before I head out, what do you know about these raiders? Not much that would help you, I'm afraid. They're Mandalorians in their battle armor with some Duro's allies. They came down on us on land speeders, so they could be anywhere by now. One thing I do remember, when those dogs killed my Ilsa, is that their leader was a giant of a man who wielded a lightsaber. A lightsaber? What, what does this mean? He was a Jedi? Mandalorians have never been open to your ways. They are much too barbaric and violent. Practical. I rather think that it may have been from some poor Jedi he had slain before. You can see now that he is as much of a threat to you as to me. You must kill them. They have been troubling farms in the south most recently, having already dealt with many to the north. Please go there, find them, and kill them. And with that surprisingly bloodthirsty request on the steps of the Jedi Enclave on Dantooine, we have met a man beside himself, of course, because not only has he lost his daughter, but still out there, a Mandalorian raiders. Which begs the question, how are they allowed to go free on a planet which is protected, one would assume, by the Jedi? Why has this fallen on deaf ears? Are we the first to encounter John? Surely not. It seems like they are getting more bold by the day. As we head through some of Dantooine's farms and first head across the Matali grounds, we read the quest outline which says, John has told you of the attacks of the raiders that killed his daughter. He has begged you to find them and destroy them. If they are destroyed, then they won't bother the settlers anymore, but it could be dangerous. What should be noted is it doesn't seem there is a peaceful component to this quest. It's then that we see just north of the courtyard that there is a gaggle of Juros and a Mandalorian standing by two speeders and what appears to be a settler with them. Approaching closer, we overhear them conversing. 
holding out on us again. Since you haven't given us enough money, I guess we're gonna have to take it out of you piece by piece. No, please! Take my wife and children instead! Anything! <laughs> ah, wife and children. Sounds like a good idea. Directly after encountering the Mandalorian extorting the poor settler who was willing to give away his so wife and child to these Mandalorians for his own safety, we are forced to fight them in combat. Oh! And it's clear that they are bloodthirsty raiders. On their remains, we do find an adrenaline alacrity stim, a blaster carbine, and a data pad, which is communication between the Mandalorians, which lets us know that there are further groups in the area. Heading back to John for an update, he says. Have you found the Mandalorian raiders yet? I killed some of them on the planes. Good. Good. Put them down like the animals they are. But now that you've killed some of them, they won't stop until you've defeated their leader. You must find him and kill him too. I'll come back if I find their leader. Thank you, young Jedi. This doesn't feel like a Jedi quest at all. I don't understand how this is actually happening so close to the Enclave. I feel like I need more guidance as I've just started my own Jedi training, so I head to the Jedi Council. I see you insist on wandering the halls of our Enclave when you should be busy studying your lessons. Why does the Jedi Council not stop the Mandalorian Raiders? So you heard about them, did you? They've been harmless up till now. It's tragic that someone had to die before we took action. You have our leave to deal with the murdering Mandalorian raiders, should you encounter them. The Mandalorians have not hurt anyone before now. We thought they would keep their activities down with our presence here, but it seems we were tragically wrong. You may deal with the Mandalorian raiders, should you meet them. It might be good training to test your fighting skills this way. These raiders are a disgrace. No true Mandalorian would stoop to raiding farms when whole worlds were open to them. Is there anything else you would like to know? I guess I'll deal with the Mandalorians. Very well. May the Force be with you. Just given my leave to deal with the Mandalorians through Force to test my fighting skills, it seems that Master Vrook and the other Jedi had taken Mandalorians that has conquest as an integral part of the culture much, much too lightly. Whether it is arrogance truly on the Jedi's behalf, or they genuinely believed that their presence would totally scare off any Mandalorians from making such bold moves, we actually find out the true reason why the Jedi did not stop the Mandalorians previously from two settlers that we encounter just outside of the courtyard. There we find a man named Gar and his wife who are also looking for aid from the Jedi, but also have more insight as to why the Mandalorian Raiders hadn't been dealt with before. Hello, I'm afraid I'm not very good at explaining things. If you have any questions, please ask my husband. Greetings, friend. I think I can safely assume you are a member of the Jedi Order. Has the Council agreed to hear our petition? If you answer truthfully and say, I'm merely an apprentice, not a Jedi, sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. I was mistaken. Does the council require our presence? You can't falsely tell God that, yes, they're inside waiting for you now. Ah, yes. Thank you, Master Jedi. Stay here, Rilka. I'll be back in an hour or so. Yes, dear. Good luck. The problem with this is Gar will go and try and seek out the Jedi, whether they help him or not is to be seen, but if you leave the courtyard and come back, Gar and Rilka are left and never to be seen again. So if you want answers, do not tell him that the Jedi are waiting for him. Instead say, I'm, I'm sorry, I don't know if the Jedi are waiting. Oh, I see. I am mistaken. How may I be of assistance? If you want to become tight-lipped on the verge of rudeness, you can say, I don't know anything. Leave me alone, Gar. Jeez. V very well. Thank you, Master Jedi. Gar, too polite, will still thank you. But if you press him and say, look, I'm not a Jedi Master yet. Ah, uh, but you are still a Jedi. My name is Gar. Me and my fine wife Rilke here... A pleasure. ...live on one of the northern farms, but... The cat hounds and the Mandalorian problem has been getting really bad of late, and we're here to ask the Jedi Council to help. You mentioned cat hounds? Recently, the cat hounds have been acting much more aggressively. They've even attacked some of the settlers. Those Mandalorian raiders have been milking the outlying farms dry, too. 
I hear John got hit really bad. Too bad about his daughter. He should have been protecting her better if he wanted to keep her. Mandalorian beast. Some of us don't like fighting and killing and butchering as much as you. Don't be so heartless, Mandalorian. I'm not sure exactly what the Council will do about it, but we need some help with this. I only hope they'll listen to me. Is there anything else you require? Tell me, why are the Mandalorians here, do you think? Ever since the Republic beat them years ago, little groups have been roaming all over the place. They're pathetic. They're taking scraps when they should be taking worlds. With the Sith invasion, the Republic doesn't have the manpower to hunt them down. The Jedi are even worse off because Malak has been hunting them specifically. They're worried that he might even be supporting these raiders, so don't want to face them directly. That puts us in a kind of hard situation. Is there anything else I can help you with? No, thanks for the insight. I've got to be going now. Farewell, then. May the Force be with you. Is that how it goes? Yes. May the Force be with you. While Gar is a little awkward in his demeanor, he has just given us invaluable information. One, the Jedi dare not move on these Mandalorians in case that they are in league with Darth Malak and do not want to draw his ire to Dantooine enough to let innocents suffer. Two, the Cathians aren't actually that vicious normally and it seems that the Mandalorians have riled them up and put them in a frenzy, hence why they're attacking not only settlers but us on the plains of Dantooine, which were once tranquil as well. Heading through Dantooine past the grove, we see a second group of Mandalorians, much like the first, that can be taken care of and a third which are in the Sandral grounds. Now, it must be noted that these fights do not have dialogue attached to them as the first one did. However, these Mandalorians and Juros do put up a really good fight. The Juros not so much with their blasters, but the Mandalorians are quite formidable and have some decent gear on their person. Taking out the last errant Juros with a swift lightsaber throw. <laughs> We can then loot the corpses of the Mandalorians and Juros, which net us an adrenaline amplifier, a data pad and stabilizer gauntlets. The data pad reads, Jarg, did you remember not to take the XT model bike out today? There was something funny with one of the intakes and I thought it could jam. <laughs> Consider yourself lucky. If someone was dumb enough to take that thing out, he would have plowed right into the ground within a kilometer. I'm not sure if there is a crashed speeder bike around, but it's pretty funny that they've got a faulty one. We also get ourselves a med pack, a nice foot locker full of average and a whole variety of plasma mines and credits, as well as more med packs and repair kits. These are basically really nice little bounties worth your while to take out the groups of Mandalorians. However, as we've taken out all three spotted around, it's then we are left to deal with Sharuk and his gang of Mandalorian Raiders. It should be noted that in the vanilla version of this game, even though Sharuk is known to collect lightsabers like General Grievous, he doesn't have lightsabers equipped whatsoever. Instead, he has two vibro blades. Now, this seems unacceptable as Sharuk has lightsabers on his person. So you can actually get a mod, which is linked in the description, which will equip Sharuk with the lightsabers that he does carry on himself. With the mod installed and Sharuk with lightsaber in hand, what? we head towards him to face the final group of Mandalorians. Ah, so this is the meddler. You have caused us far too much trouble for a mere Jedi. I will add your head to those of the other Jedi I have killed and take yet another lightsaber for my own. Now you will know why the Mandalorians are feared. There's a reason why Sharuk is not phased by Jedi and actually relishes taking us on. If you fight him without shields or unprepared, he will totally shred your party single-handedly. 
the wow. only way to stop Sharuk. And I have done this in a cinematic playthrough, therefore I've put it on easy because otherwise it's much too difficult to fight, is you have to stun lock him. Otherwise he will out heal all of your attacks and he will slowly burn you down, even if you try and take out the rest of his group. So I had Karth focus on them while Bastila worked on using her flurry and I kept him stun locked. Now, if you do fail to actually hold him in place, this is what happens fairly quickly. He will not only take you down in lightsaber combat, but he will carve you like a Christmas turkey. And I cannot understate how much of a difficult fight this is. Ready. Oh. However, if you do happen to stunlock him, have energy shields equipped for the blast of fire, and some melee shields if he gets in close. You need to take him down in one single strong burn. It's then that you can take out the Mandalorians and Juros, and it's well worth noting that the Juros are much weaker and easier to take down as well. After a couple of well-placed flurries, force whirlwinds, and some genuine luck on our side, we take out the Mandalorians. How'd you like that? How'd you like that? However, I had to switch back to the vanilla version of the game as the mod did have several more lightsabers on Sharuk's person and I didn't want to taint the gameplay too much. But if you do loot Sharuk, he has an adrenaline alacrity stim, a red lightsaber, a blue lightsaber, a verpine cardio regulator, and a sonic nullifiers. Basically some really decent gear for the first planet you're on. You've just got your own lightsaber and now you have two other colors to pick from if you didn't pick from blue, as well as a lightsaber cave just around the corner. So gathering up all the loot, we head back to John to tell him of the news and our quest for vengeance has ended. Now those Mandalorians know what it's like to be hunted, but now that you've killed some of them, they won't stop until you've defeated their leader. You must find him and kill him too. I fought and I killed their leader, Sharuk. You can rest easy now. Thank you, young master. My daughter can now, I think, rest in peace. Here is the reward I promised you. For a light side playthrough, you can say thank you, John. There's no need for a reward. No, please take it. This pitiful amount will never be enough for what you have done for me. Again, I thank you. I will be sure to tell the council of your great deed. With that, you get some light side points, experience, and John heads to tell the council of your great deeds. If instead you hail a darker path, you can say, What? That's it? Give me more. What? I did not think the Jedi were so greedy. You seem almost Mandalorian. I thank you for what you have done for me, but I have nothing else to give. The council will hear of your deeds and your greed. That was beneath you. I hope in the future you will strive to be better than this. You are a representative of the Jedi Order. When you behave this way, you disgrace us all. Surviving a tongue lashing from your companions, you then, of course, finish the quest but gain dark side points to boot. And John is going to tell the Council of your misdeeds. Thank you for exacting my revenge on those Mandalorian beasts. If only I could have been the one to tear out Sharuk's heart. And with that... One of our very first quests as a fledgling Jedi is to murder a bunch of Mandalorians with no other way to complete this quest, though we are exacting revenge for a quote-unquote good cause, helping the settlers. It's because the Jedi are too afraid to do so themselves. So while the citizens of Dantooine can sleep a little more peacefully, we ourselves already have blood on our hands. 